What's going on, YouTube? My name is Gene. Bring you guys part seven for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Like, what are you doing if you are not sub to Gene Jet? Like, let's get on that. Make that happen. Also, guys, check me out on Twitch at Gene's25 as I stream four days a week. So turn on notifications so you don't miss out on anything. So guys, in the last episode, we finished up our third dungeon, the Key Cavern. So in this episode, we're actually going to be moving along with the main story, doing some side quests in between. So first order, what? He just yeeted on us. First order of business is actually head down here. We got a few uh, side quests to do, a few collectibles to get. You see this tree right here. You can actually use our, your Pegasus boots by holding down L. Bang, yeet into it and drop. And it drops a secret seashell, which is just wonderful now that we can go to this seashell mansion and collect rewards for that. Boom, there we go. Next stop, we're gonna go get a like, couple pieces of heart and all that, but it's luckily like we can run faster now, like with this Pegasus boots. Like, look at this sheet. We got Dompe chilling right there. But come over here, you can see there's a crack wall. You can take out your bombs and place in there. What you want? A little caterpillar looking thing. We can actually make our way into this little cavern right here. Get going here. Oh, what you want? Get out my. Ow! You punk. We can use our Pegasus boots to actually run across here, do all that stuff. And dodge these electric guys. We actually have rocks feathers so we can start like jumping over things if needed. We can pop this and then just push this rock over to the side right here. And bang, get ourselves this chest, which is a nice solid 50 rupees, which is just wonderful. We're going to need plenty of rupees in the future. So we might as well start racking them up now. Then you can make our way up here and we can bomb this wall right here because, as you can tell, it's cracked. Oh, we hit ourselves with that. And we can walk in here and have this beautiful little water thing with a piece of heart for us. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. How many pieces of heart do we need now to get another one? We need two more. We might get that in this episode. I'm thinking we might. There's a few other things we could do. But now we actually have to start making our way out of this place right here. And back to the prairie. Because you remember that, uh, the what's, ooh. You guys remember that piece of heart that we couldn't get in pothole fields because we kept falling and falling inside of it? Well, we can actually get it now with the Pegasus food. So yeah, let's go, baby. Dude, those caterpillars, or they're not even caterpillars, I don't even know what to call it. Centipede? I don't know. This thing's with the crazy, uh, mouths. I don't know, but I like them as an enemy. They're pretty cool looking. But we can actually, no, we cannot head this way because we have to pick up the rock. We, why do I keep bumping in the wall? Yee, all right, dude. Look, we can just go down here and chop up the grass, but we have to actually make our way back inside this building right here and take the secret path way that we unlocked by doing the five golden leaf side quest. In order to get back into the pothole field. Ow! <laughs> I keep hitting the wall. Because <laughs> it's on like a grid. So I try moving just like very like subtle to the left. And I just smoke the wall. So <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> now that we can make our way out to the pothole fields. We just have to watch out for the potholes. Because last time we... Bruh! I just said this. Last time we... They were just murking on us. But just keep chopping the grass right here. Just like this. Ooh. And find your path. Why? No, I think Rock's Feather! I thought Rock's Feather was why. Oh my lord. We're getting slammed on right now by his pals. <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't stand this. Alright, we can actually do a hop here. And uh, Why do I keep dropping bombs? Alright, bombs, you gotta go because we're running low on you. We're gonna switch to the shovel when we're exploring like this. We can actually keep making our way over here and actually do a Pegasus boot jump. So, hold down. The left. Oh, we didn't chop the grass up first. No! <laughs> I can't stand this. I can't stand this, guys! <laughs> chop that grass up. There we go. Once you get that other pothole done, now we can do a long jump. And finally get this piece of heart. I am out of here. I'm done doing this whole pot field things. I'm sick of this. Bruh. Bruh. There we go. There we go. Now we can just make a nice little path this way. Oh my lord, guys. Oh my lord. Throw this rock and finally make our way out of this dumb field. Jeez, guys. How many times I fall in there? Like, jeez. Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> just embarrassing me. Yo, jeez. You fell in there like 632 times. Pretty embarrassing, dude. <laughs> but look, we can just skirt our way all the way up here with the Pegasus boots because now we can run fast. Jump over that, dude. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Let me check the map real quick. Just see what I want to do here. Okay, we're actually going to keep heading this way like I was going to. And make our way down here. Discovering out this new area down here. Because we've never been down here before. But we got all these piggies in over here. So we're going to fight these dudes. Get out of my face. What you want, piggy? What you want, piggy? What you want? There's a spear. Get out of here. 
get out of here, piggy. Then we got this bomb, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, get back, boy. Get back. Throwing bombs and all that. But we can actually lift up this little rock right here. And boom. Out comes another secret seashell. Yes, let's go. We are racking up all these collectibles and everything. But what are we... We're going to go this... Ooh, wait a minute. What's in this cave? Did we go in this cave yet? I don't think we've been in this cave yet. Let's see. Let's see. We have not, but I don't think I want to do this right now. I don't think we can actually do it right now. So we're going to just head out for right now and keep moving on towards the Yarn of Desert, which is the next place we got to go for our fourth dungeon, for our fourth instrument. But we can actually keep heading this way over here. Get out my face. I can't hit those fools. They're punks. But we can come over here, slap on this little bush right here, and unlock a stairway, which will lead us to the other side on of the water. But look at this. We got piranha. I was going to call them piranha plants, but we got the just piranha fish. <laughs> and as you can tell, there's a piece of heart right here. Can I even mark this on my map? I don't think so, considering we are underground. But we're just going to remember to come back when we get the item to be able to go down underwater, which is just dandy. Oh, no, I was going to attack that dude, but he has electric on him. I ain't messing with him. I ain't messing with him. Oh, we got another piece of heart there. I think we can get that in just a little bit, but we're just going to keep heading down this way, chopping up the grass, grabbing ourselves rupees. Oh my god, we got spiders. We got spiders. Run, Link. <laughs> but now we can actually make our way over here, dodging this electric chew. And coming up here, we can talk to this little bee. It says, secrets are, are like water when it comes to bridges. So that's just like a little hint for later. But we can actually bring out our shovel and bang, obtain another secret seashell. Let's go. <laughs> We're just getting them all. Getting them all. Oh, I forget what that guy's name is. Oh, he's Azora. That's a, that's Azora, the guy that, the fish that shoots like all the fire and stuff. That's just cool, but... Now I keep moving along here. Oh, what? I just hit the bush and a spider pops out and whaps on me. Get out of my face, spider. Oh, Pegasus boots coming in clutch. We can now start moving this way. We can actually start heading like here and talking to the bunnies. Ah, sigh. Oh, such a nice day. We need a song for Marin. Oh, so a little hint that we have to get Marin. We're going to head inside this house right here and talk to this lady in here. Or no, this little crocodile. He's just painting and all that. But it's all good. It's all good. We're actually going to head over here, and there's something I want to do real quick before we before we even move on. We're going to head over here and unlock this warp point right here, so it'll make it easier to travel from here to other points. So this is the animal village, so now we can travel all to those other ones, and we're going to be doing it in... We're actually going to be doing it right now, because I want to grab something else before we get here. We're going to be traveling back to the Yukuku pra Prairie, and starting, well, doing another trade side quest, because... Do you guys remember we got the stick from the monkeys? So we, I think we gotta head, is it this way? Is it over here? Oh, you punk, you punk. Yes, it is right over here we got my boy, is this Taron? Is this Taron over here? Yeah, oh Link, I see you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? Yeah, take my stick. So he grabs this stick, look at him, starts poking the beehive. <laughs> Cracks me up, knocks it down. Ah! <laughs> The bees get him. The bees just start laughing on him. He runs away. <laughs> yeah, it's too funny. But now, since he has our stick, we actually obtained this honeycomb. Let's get it. The stick became the honeycomb. So now we can... Wait, and then it says, you are not sure how it happened, but take it. But now we can actually use that for later usage for the trade side quest. Now we can start making our way back to the animal village, because we actually needed this to keep moving along with our quest. So let's head on here. And back to the animal village. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm trying to think what else we have to do. So we have to start making our way to Yarna Village. And uh, there's other few collectibles I want to get before we end off the video and all that. So we're just going to keep moving along this way. And which way do I want to go? I actually want to head all the way around. Actually, what's in here? Well, I actually might want to go in here. Let's check. If we head inside here, I think there should be, yeah, my big bear guy right here. So we talk to him, and he's, he's like, oh, hi, ho, hey, you. Is it possible, wait, is that possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out, we swap it for a pineapple, so boom, we swap it for the pineapple. Continuing on with our trade side quest, you exchange a honeycomb for a pineapple. It's not as sweet, but it is delicious. Then he keeps talking to us. Hi, ho, yeah, I know that tub of goo is asleep right in the way of yarn and desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her sw singing. That slob would wake up with a jump if he heard her sing for sure. Hee hee hee. So, the little Bob he's talking about is there's a walrus blocking our path into the Yarna Desert, which is just pretty annoying. 
<laughs> so we got a big walrus that is blocking our path in order to make it to the next place. And the only way to wake him up is with Marin singing. So, looks like we're going to have to get that. Because as you can see, he's right here sleeping, blocking our path. And he says, Zzz. and then just pictures of Marin on there. So that's a hint that we have to go get Marin in order to wake him up. But before we do that, we're actually going to start making our way up here. And there's just actually this wall we can bomb. We're going to switch out our, to our bombs and make our way over here, actually, because... That piece of heart is just chilling over here that we saw in the beginning when we were moving into Animal Village. But there we go. That will be our fourth piece of heart. That should actually... Yeah, there we go. We got a whole another heart container in here. And let me switch back to the shoves. To the shoves. <laughs> we can actually make our way in this cave and see what's up. What we got? What we got? Okay, so we got these rocks and all that. I see that bombable wall. We can actually do it. Bruh, I just want to jump. Get away from me. Get down there. Take out my bombs again. I'm gonna move over here so we don't get hit. What we got? What's in here? What we got in here? We got a bunch of bats and all that. Get out of here. What you want, bat? And we got these rocks. Can we just hop over these rocks? To get this piece of heart? No, we cannot hop over this. What? That's bogus, man. That is bogus. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I thought maybe there would be something for us here. Ow, we fall down. We just have trouble. No! <laughs> <laughs> we're having trouble with this today. There we go. Hop over with Rock's Feather. Here we go. Now we're grooving along. What is over here? Anything up here? No, there is not. So there's really nothing we can do here right now. I guess we're going to have to come back here later. But for right now, we're just going to keep moving along and heading back to the Mabe Village to get Marin and all that. So let's get grooving. Let's get grooving. Where's the... Uh, we got to use the fast travel point. Come on. It just stinks. We have to make our way all the way back around here. <laughs> But it's good we have the Pegasus boots because we can just yeet and run pretty fast here. And save some time. Look at the bunnies, yo. The bunnies crack me up. <laughs> here we go. The war points come in clutch like crazy. I'm actually happy we got a couple of them open now. So we can actually head back to the Yukuku prayer and then head over to the Mabe village. So let's make that happen. Let's go, Link. Let's go, buddy. Making our way back to the prairie. Now we can just get moving on to Mabe Village, which is just right here. So it's a nice little warp point to, to it. We can actually, first order of business I would like to do is actually come up, well, back to the claw machine shop. And there should be a new figurine in there that I would love to get. Or maybe a new item. So let's, he let's head in there and see what we got going on here. Because we got plenty of rupees to spend now. I would like to get more because we're going to need more. Yes, and there's actually, see that little spiny figure? That is what I want to get. Trendy game, one play, 10 rupees, let's get it. We're hoping to do this on our first try, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for that perfect movement. Oh, I don't know. I don't actually... Oh, come on, come on. That is the most money grab ever. This drops out. This game's broken. That's gonna drop out. No, that is not gonna drop out. Look at that, that was perfect. Let's get it, let's get it, baby. There we go, first try, that is all I want to come here for is to get this figurine. No, of course I hit play, so I guess we'll grab the, uh, the rupee. We get the rupee? We probably, I think we missed that rupee, but it's all good. It's all good, we chillin'. Actually, scoop that up. Scoop that up. Come on, give me that rupee. Might as well make our rupees back. We'll break even here. Did we break even? Yeah, 20 rupees for 20 rupees? Okay. No, we don't want to challenge again. That was bogus. I didn't mean to hit play. He's ripping us off by making us play multiple times. Now we can pick up this... 20 rupee and then we can actually grab this little spiny figurine and go place it on its little pedestal that it needs to be placed on bump -a -doo, bump 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 now we can make our way out of here and start heading up here to the top over here because what i want to do over here is actually place the spiny figure and now that we can lift those rocks we can actually head inside there and we're going to be getting something awesome within that little place right there but the little spiny figure actually goes here. Is that a stand for something? It says spiny. Place the spiny figure. Heck yeah, yo, place that there. Look how cool it looks there. That's fine. We're done with that. <laughs> now we can make our way over here. Lift up these rocks right here. Get hucking. I want my shovel. I want my shovel. <laughs> now we have our shovel. We can actually head into the dream shrine right here. So the dream shrine is Link hops into bed. He takes a nap. And we head into a little dream thing going on here, which is pretty cool. I think it's very cool. But... Link starts to dream and everything, and now we make our way to this little thing. This is the dream shrine. What the heck? We can actually run through this with our Pegasus boots. You actually need your Pegasus boots in order to do all this. So you need Pegasus boots and the power bracelet. 
and we can start ripping up. Yo, what do these fools want? Bro, what just happened? They take that many hits? He killed us, but we had the medicine that was here. Yes, the medicine saved us. I didn't realize how low we were on hearts. I guess these guys hit like trucks, but we actually didn't die considering we had the medicine. Now we got to go back and buy more when we get the chance. I was so stunned. But if you come over here, look what we got. Boom! You got the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. Yes! We get the ocarina. So this is like a little like resemblance of uh, ocarina of time. That's why I think they put it in the dream shrine. Because he like goes to sleep and he remembers that he used to do the ocarina and all that. That's just my theory. But we can also grab here and get our 100 rupees. But guys, that was crazy. I didn't know how much damage they dealt. They literally just started shredding us. Now we got to go pick up that medicine because that actually came up big. That medicine. Because we would have took our first death. But luckily we bought it and it revived us. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we ain't dying. We ain't dying. We good, baby. We good. But now we can make our way out of this dream shrine with the ocarina. I don't know if it's an automatic item or is it an item that we have to like pull out. Oh, it's an item we, we get to pull out. But that's cool. Now we can start making our way down here. And there's a few other things I want to do. First off, we're going to head all the way over here. To Chow Chow's place now that we have the shovel. There's something I want to get inside of here. Come on, Chow Chow. What we doing, baby? So if you come over here, you can start digging in Chow Chow's little place. And we got ourselves a secret seashell just chilling here in the bottom right corner. But you, should, you can also just dig all the way around in this place. And I believe there's like, yeah, see rupees and stuff in here. So that's pretty cool, though. Hey, Bow Wow, we saved you earlier. <laughs> but now we can make our way down to uh, Tenoba Shores over here because there's a couple things I want to collect and Marin is actually located down here. But first order of business, we can come down here, yeet, hop over here, use our Pegasus boots, hit that tree right there, bang, another seashell. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Woo. Dude, we are collecting tons of seashells in this episode. Let me check the map because I believe we have to head all the way down here. Yes, sir, we're going to make our way this way. Can we? No, we actually have to hop down and get actually onto the beach. And then Marin will be chilling down there for us. Marin's coming in. What? <laughs> we just land in these holes now. Get out of here, Octorox. But Marin's going to come in clutch now to wake up that walrus for us and all that. We can actually hit these spikes now. Remember we had to push these things out like this in the first episode? But I believe we have to make our way over top this way. Oh, we got these Octorox, dude. They're so funny looking. I love the Octorox. Get out of my face, Octorox. Give me that. And now we can just keep cruising along over here and making our way over past these nuts. And we got these monkeys throwing them all and everything. But we got this uh, little, uh, these, uh, chests right here. Just pick up the rocks, throw it out the way. And what's inside? Bang! Another 50 rupee. We are racking them up. I think, like, in order to get the bow and arrow, it's close to a thousand rupees, I believe. So we gotta start racking them up. But here we are. Marin is just chilling here. Oh, Link, I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? Of course, Marin. <laughs> So now we got this little cutscene that's gonna roll out here. We're gonna have a good old time watching it. Look at the seagulls, yo. Seagulls are cool. Look at this view they got. Just chilling on the beach. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Taryn says there's nothing beyond the sea. But I believe there must be something over there. Dot, dot, dot. When I discover you, Link, my heart skipped a beat. I thought this person has, has come to give us a message. Aw, oh, Marin, you didn't have to say that. <laughs> if I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to, a, to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. Hey, are you listening? Link, are you listening to me? Yeah, we're listening to you. Jeez, Marin. Relax. <laughs> I want you to know everything. I want to know everything about you. <laughs> er, uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, Marin. Marin likes Link, everybody. Huh? The walrus wants me to go to him? Well, all right, let's go. <laughs> like how she just like, she's like flirting with Link, telling her how he likes her. And then she's just like, all right, let's go see the walrus. You got Marin. Is that... Is this your big chance? Like, I would just picture her up. He's like, yeah, we got Marin over here. 
But guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking Marin back to the walrus and unlocking the next part for the main mission. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.